Mutual Broadcasting System presents The Mysterious Traveler. Written, produced, and directed by Robert A. Arthur and David Cogan, and starring tonight three of radio's most distinguished actors, Scott Tennyson, Frank Behrens, and Agnes Young in Killer, Come Home. This is the Mysterious Traveler, inviting you to join me on another journey into the realm of the strange and the terrifying. I hope you will enjoy the trip, and it will thrill you a little and chill you a little. So settle back, get a good grip on your nerves, and be comfortable, if you can. For tonight, we have a different kind of story. We're traveling into a remote section of the Kentucky mountains, where the ties of kinship are stronger than the law, to join two escaping convicts. It's the story I call Killer Come Home. In a lonely section of the mountains, two men crouch in the brush. Far in the distance, they can hear the siren of the state penitentiary from which they've just escaped that evening. Listen to Will and Willie. Well, they're sure anxious to get us back, Harry. They're not getting us, Missouri. We're not going back. I sure hope you're right, Harry. That sure admired know just where we are going. Uh, we're heading for Deep Valley. Deep Valley, where's that? Cross four ridges and you come to it. It's just about lost back in the hills. And what's that for us? Ah, my old home. My ma and my brother Tom... They'll hide us out. You show sure that? Uh, blood's thicker than the law in these parts. Not that brother Tom and me ever got along good. But he'll hide us out. Or else. Or else what, Harry? Or else more. Listen. Huh? What is it? I hear a car coming up this road. A car? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I can hear it now, too. That's an old jalopy. Duck down, let it go by. Nothing of the sort. We're going to stop it. Stop it? You're crazy. Every one of these old hillbillies have to have a shotgun beside him. Uh, you leave this to me. Okay, Harry, you're calling the cards. Uh, now, uh, I'll talk to him. You slip up from behind. Use a rock. I've got one right here. All right, then, come on. Hey there! Stop that car, huh? What do you want? Uh, I'm a deputy sheriff. Uh, there's a prisoner escaped from Stone Mountain. We're uh, searching all cars. Huh? You have to speak up, mister. I said we're searching all cars for an escaped convict. Escaped convict? I yeah. ain't seen him. Now, step aside. My old woman's been inspecting me since sundown. Well, that's too bad, Pop. We've got other plans for you. Huh? I didn't catch what you said. See if you can catch this. All right, Missouri. No, no, don't. <coughs> Ah, good work. That takes care of him. What are we going to do with him now? Take any money he's got and tumble him into the bushes. And then we'll ride the rest of the way to Deep Valley to pay a surprise visit to my old Ma and dear brother Tom. Well, Doc, how is she? Well... She's 70, Tom. That's all that's ailing her. Anything fretting her, anything on her mind? She's pining to see Harry, I ring. Harry? Yeah, my brother, five years younger. Kind of a pet of Ma's. Every year about this time, she gets a notion he'll be coming home for a visit. Makes her upset. Well, then that's why she's not eating or sleeping. Mm -hmm. It would help her a lot if your brother Harry could pay her a visit. Yeah, well, I... I expect that ain't possible. No? Dead? Not exactly. Locked up. Oh. Stone Mountain Penitentiary. Robbery. Been in there four years. Hmm. Uh, your ma don't know? No, I kept it from her. Afraid it might kill her. Well, I expect you're right, Tom. Shock like that might finish her off. Yeah. See, Harry Taken went off to the city ten years ago. Mm -hmm. Got in with a gang of some kind, got into trouble with the law. 
Only time he come back here to see Ma was when he had to hide out for a while. Oh, I see. Well, try to keep her from fretting, Tom. But uh, there is another thing. Yeah, Doc? She shouldn't be staying in this cabin, and neither should you. She should be down to town where she can get looked after better. Besides, the way the river is undercutting the banks, this cabin's going to topple right into it someday. Yeah, Big Rocky's eating this way fast, all right. But Ma won't move, not without she sees Harry again. Well, yeah, try and persuade her, Tom. All right, I'll try, but it ain't much use. She's afeard does she move, Harry will come back here for a visit and not be able to find it. Tom? Tom? There she is now. I better go on in. All right, Tom. Night. But uh, try to persuade her to move out before this cabin falls in the river. Yeah, I'll try, Doc. Good night. Good night. Tom. Tom, boy, where be you? I'm a-coming. Here I am, Ma. Open the window, son. I have a hankering to hear the big rocky river rushing by down there in the gorge. Sure, Ma. The river's loud tonight. Coming closer and closer, ain't it, Tom? Yeah, too close. When I was a pup, there's four acres of cornfield twixt us in that there gorge. Now it's hardly room for a hill of taters. Mm been trying to get us ever since your pa built this cabin. Old River has eaten away toward us year by year. But he's never got us. And he never will. He will if we don't move. Ma, now listen. Doc Hawkins is right. He's right. We, we got to move from here down to town. All right. We'll move, Tom. But only after Harry comes... If we was to move, he, he might not find us. He might not know where to look. But, Ma, My I... mind's made up, Tom. Harry's coming soon. I, I know he is. Then we'll move. Yeah, but supposing he don't. The last letter he wrote, he's, he's mighty busy. Suppose he don't come for quite a spell. He'll come. He's on his way now. Now, Ma, don't I... Don't try to tell me no, son. Something inside me tells me when Harry's coming to see me. And I've never been wrong yet. Right this minute, my boy's on his way home to see his ma. Try the starter again, Missouri. Maybe the motor will catch now, huh? It ain't no use, Harry. This old tea kettle just... Done stop percolating. Well, it brought us 50 miles. The deep valley is just over the next ridge. We can hike it. What are we going to do with this jalopy? Well, looks like a deep ravine here beside us. We can push her in. And then we head for your ma's cabin. Not by daylight we don't head any place. It's most sun up now. We'll camp here in the brush till it's good and dark tonight, and then uh, we uh, sneak up to the cabin. I don't like this here country, Harry. All these here hills and valleys, it's mighty fine country to die in. Well, it's good country for hiding out from the law in, too. <laughs> Don't worry, Missouri, we're going to make it. And with the help of Brother Tom and Ma. Tom. Tom. Hmm? Oh. oh, yeah, Ma. <laughs> I guess I was dozing off right here in my chair. Turn down the lamp, son. Smoking bed. Oh, sure. There. Gonna have to clean that lamp chimney tomorrow. Well, it's nine o'clock. Past time for you to be in bed. Just a minute more, Tom. Foggy out tonight, isn't it? I can smell the fog in the air. Yeah, foggy and dark. Gonna be moon up for most nine hours. Huh? What was that, Tom? Sounded like a rock slide. I can hear it plain now, Tom. Old river's undercutting the cliffs, being it? Yeah. Big rock fall about half a mile up the gorge there. Come on. Now listen to me. We got to move. We plumb got to. River might undercut us any time and dump us a hundred feet down there in that gorge. 
I said we'd move as soon as Harry's come. Yeah, but he might not come in time. No, Tom, no. Because he's coming here tonight. My boy's coming here tonight. Ma, what are you saying? He can't be coming he here. He is. I tell you. Glory be, my boy Harry's coming to see his old Ma at last. I can feel his thoughts reaching out to me through the dark. Finding me. Telling me he's on his way. But, Ma... Don't argue, I, Tom. It's so. Ain't I always told you true? Other times Harry came. Yeah, I reckon you did. You always know before he got here. But now this time you're wrong. You just got to be. I've never been wrong yet about Harry's coming, Tom. It's like... Something calling out inside of me. And it's telling me he's coming closer every minute. Well, if he's coming, you'd best get rested for him now. You can sleep till he gets here. In a minute, son. Maybe this time Harry'll stay. Maybe he won't go off again the way he always has before. Maybe. Restless, Harry was. Restless like the river, hungering for far places and bright lights, for the city, for city ways and city clothes, city talk. I, I reckon he was. But maybe this time he'll stay. Maybe he's had enough for traveling. Now we'll see when he gets here. It's time now for you to be getting your rest. Here, take my arm, Ma. I'll help you to your room. Listen to that, Harry. That's a bloodhound. All right, Missouri, so it's a bloodhound. Well, they're closing in on us. They guessed we'd come to this valley. They got patrols out of the bloodhounds looking for us. Yeah, it looks that way. We're done for, Harry. They're going to trail us here, and they're going to get us. I tell you, they won't. Tom will hide us somehow. Well, it seems to me you're pinning an awful lot on your brother Tom. Maybe we won't even reach the cabin. Missouri, I forgot to tell you something. We have reached it. Huh? I have reached it? Yeah. You mean that cabin hotel we've been watching the last 15 minutes? Yeah, that's my home, Missouri. We're there. Why didn't you tell me? I like surprises. <laughs> Anyway, we had to watch it to make sure there wasn't any strangers inside. We ain't seen nobody but the old lady there and the heavy set fella sitting in the kitchen. Oh, and Tom. Yeah, and there they go. <laughs> Tom's helping her. Probably she's going to bed now. <laughs> All right, Missouri, we can slip in now. Come on along. Here's a path. What's that river here? That's a big rocky. Runs through a gorge back of the cabin. She's fast, but you can float a boat down her. Okay. Now we go in. Oh, man, it feels good to be inside. Keep your voice right. down. Keep your voice down. We take Tom by surprise. What are you doing there? I'm just pouring the coffee here out of this pot. Ain't very hot, but... <sighs> man, it sure tastes good. Well, uh, pour me some. Come on. All right, sure. There you are. Oh, boy, that went down good. Oh, 24 hours since we've eaten. Listen, listen. That bloodhound's closer. Quick, wipe that cup. We'll duck into the storage lean to. Well, why do we have to hide from your brother? We don't. But I hear somebody coming up the path. Come on. Huh? All right, then, quick. Let's get ourselves here. This way. Come on. Come on. Coming. Evening, Tom. Sheriff. Well, come on in. Much obliged. Expect you know why I'm here, Tom. No, I can't say I do, Sheriff. What's happened? You mean you ain't here? Here to what? We got no radio box here and no telephone neither. How'd I hear anything? Thought maybe somebody stopped by to tell you. 
Tell me what? About your brother, Harry. Harry? He escaped yesterday from Stone Mountain. Escaped from the penitentiary? Him and another fellow named Missouri. I figured he might head for home. That's why I've been here in Bloodhound. I got men both up and down the trail in case he tries for here. I got the cabin watch from down below, too. Just wanted to tell you. Oh, he wouldn't come here, Sheriff. Harry ain't no fool. He might figure you'd help him. Was I an escaped killer? I'd sure head for my kinfolk to get help. Killer? Well, Harry's no killer. He went to penitentiary for robbery. Uh, he's a killer now. Him and this Missouri, they stopped a car yesterday. Stole it. Bashed in the driver's head. Murder? Harry done murder? Don't know what else you'd call it. He found a car over in the next valley. So we figure Harry can't be too far away. Maybe that's why Ma said... Yeah? Nothing. That's mighty bad. Harry killing that there driver. Now that you know, you figure on helping him if he gets here? I... I guess not, Sheriff. Or anything else, I, I won't say. I don't know. But killing... No, sir, I don't hold with killing. If he shows up, I'll keep him for you, Sheriff. I reckon I can get back outside. Have a cup of coffee before you go. I got some here. Oh, thanks, Tom. Maybe later. Gotta go now. I'll be stopping in again later. Bloodhound. For Harry. Harry out there in the dark. Bloodhound on his trail. Ma mustn't know. She mustn't ever know. Coffee. Yeah, I guess I'll have a cup myself. It's empty. It's funny. All right, Harry. You can come out now. Harry. I said you can come out of the lean-to now. You might as well come out, Harry. I know you're there. All right, brother Tom, we'll come out. All right, Harry. Stand there. I got my gun here, and she's loaded. I suppose uh, the empty coffee pot gave us away, That's huh? That's right. I knowed I hadn't emptied it. And then it come to me somebody must have slipped inside while I was in there with Ma. Well, uh, I was coming out anyway. I just didn't want the sheriff to see me. Yeah. Your friend can come out too now. Come on out, Missouri. Uh, Tom knows you're here. All right, Harry. What kind of greeting is this? A loaded gun pointed at our noses. You said you could count on your brother. Sure, I can count on him. Can I, Tom? Expect you heard what I told the sheriff. That still stands. He's going to turn us in. Oh, no, he isn't. You're staying right where you are, Harry, till the sheriff gets back. And you're going along with him. Without uh, saying hello to my dear old mother? <laughs> She'll be disappointed. She's sleeping. Sound. She'll never know you're here. Uh, I have an idea that she'll wake up. Why should she wake up if we're quiet? But we're not going to be quiet, Brother Tom. When the sheriff comes back, we're going to make a real loud racket. But then she'll hear you. She'll know you're here. That's right. Then she'll know everything. Harry, that killer. Well, I wouldn't know about that. But I'm sure going to yell. Oh, no, no, you couldn't. You'd be killing your own mall man. Nobody could be that low. I tell you, she'll learn everything. Unless you let me and Missouri uh, get out that window. Prison's changed you, Harry. You were a killer now. All right. So it's changed me. And I'm not going back. No matter what happens. Now, uh, you gonna let us uh, go out that window or not? Out that window. That's what I said. The door's being watched. We heard the sheriff say so. Maybe they're watching the back too, Harry. Oh, uh, no, no, not a chance. It's only about a hundred feet to the cliffs above the river. Uh, but uh, there's a path down to the water and a boat anchored down there. Once we get to that boat, we can drift right out of this state. 
Uh, Tom, uh, is that uh, that boat still there? Yeah. Boat still there. Tied up further down, though. We'll find it. Well, how about it? Going to let us get out that window the way I used to go when Pop was on the rampage after me? Or do you want me to wake up more so I can tell her goodbye before the sheriff drags us off to be hanged? All right. I... No. No, I can't let you do it. The law's the law. Sheriff's coming up a path now. You two just stand still. Tom, I'm warning Be you. Be quiet. Come on in, Sheriff. Come in quick. What is it, Tom? You sound... Co- well, I'll be. It's Harry and the other guy. Yeah, it's him. He was hiding out. Put away your pistol. I got my rifle trained on him. Yeah, let me get these handcuffs unlocked. I'll cuff them together and call my men. We'll take them away. This is the kind of help your brother's given us. And you talk so big, Harry. Shut up, Missouri. We ain't taken yet. Sheriff, just one thing. Yeah, Tom? My ma's never to know. You hear? She must never know about Harry. It hit a killer to learn he's a jailbird and a murderer. Yeah, I reckon it would. All right. I passed my promise on it. But uh, I haven't made any promise. Oh, Ma. Harry. Ma! Harry, you can't, you can't kill your own Ma, man. Well, I'm not leaving without saying goodbye to her. That's all. Just goodbye. Ma! Ma, where are you? Harry. Be that you, Harry? She's here. It's me, all right, Ma. I've come to see you. I know you were coming, son. Come in here. Bring me out to the night where your Ma can look at you. I'll be right in as soon as I've said hello to Tom. Well, Tom, now she knows I'm here. I can't go without a little visit with her. You can, you will. Come on now, put out your hands. How about it, Tom? Want me to tell Ma I can't stay because I've got a date with the sheriff? Harry, son, what's keeping you? Your Ma's hungering to see you. Come bring me out to the light. I said put out your hands, Harry. I'm not taking any nonsense. No, Sheriff. Wait. Tom, I know you don't want to upset you more, but these two are killers. I just Sorry, can't... Sorry, grab it. Fear, no, I got Watch it. Quiet. Let go of me. Not I have his gun. Yeah, I got no, it. you don't. You You're not getting my uh, pistol. Hold his hands. Be quiet. So you hold him, I say. Tom, I can... Tom, shoot. You can I... pick him up. I'll have my, my pistol in a minute. Go ahead. Better not, Tom. Better not. No matter who you hit, it'll sure upset more. Tom, shoot. Shoot them. Break my arm, Tom. 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 What's the keeping, Harry? Think fast, Tom, think fast. Another second, somebody will get shot. But pass uh, me your promise to let us both go safe out that window and nobody will be hurt. All right, Harry, you got my promise. Tom. Sheriff, put up your hand. I got you covered <laughs> now. Tom, you, you can't do this. It's already done. Put up your hand. You'll regret this, Tom. You'll regret it sad and heavy. Yeah. Take his gun, Harry. <laughs> I got it. Now, both of you step aside. That's it. Sheriff, I... I got to do this. I got to... You're siding against the law now. The law don't forget that. Tom. Tom, where's Harry? Where's my boy, Harry? He's coming directly, Ma. Sheriff, I got to tie you up in the lean-to. Now, Harry, you can't go from here till you've talked to Ma some. You got to leave her with an easy mind. Now go on. Go on, bring her out here. So that's where you've been, Harry. Out in California, raising oranges. Yeah, Ma, oranges. A whole thousand acres of orange trees with the hills on one side and the sea on the other. And the orange blossoms filling the air with perfume, like when the gates of heaven are open. It must be pretty. I should like to see it, Harry. (laughs) You're going to, Ma. I'm going to send for you to come live with me there, Ma. Soon, Harry. Send for me soon. Just a week or two, Ma. And then you'll be able to sit out on your own porch and, well, pick oranges right off the tree. How much longer we gotta wait? It's been half an hour already. Hush. Ma's almost asleep. You go as soon as she dozes off. 
tell me more about it, Harry. More about California. Oh, it's a grand place, Ma. It's got mountains standing tall like the glory of God. And then there's the ocean, the, the Pacific. I've never seen an ocean. Uh, this is the biggest ocean there is, Ma. And the bluest. And the sand on the beach is the whitest. And the waves come in. Big blue waves that have traveled all the way from China. And they, they, they bring a breeze with them that smells of tea and spice and ginger and cinnamon. And all you have to do, Ma, is sit there in the sunshine and soak up strength and watch the ocean on one side and the mountains on the other with the birds singing and the flowers blossoming. All right, Tom. I've done what you said. I've talked her to sleep. All right. You can go on now. It's about time, too. I've been hearing them bloodhounds all the last half hour. Don't you worry about them. We're going to float right past them, down the river, 50 miles before morning. You better be getting. It's almost moon up. Here's the sheriff's flashlight. you got to keep the sheriff here till we're safe past South Fork, understand? Yeah, I'll keep him here till you're beyond catching. And let's get the window open, huh? There, she's up. All right, Missouri, you first. Just ease through and drop, huh? It's only about six feet. Anything you say, Harry. Harry, don't do it. Stay both of you and take your trial. I'll get you the best lawyer in the state. Oh, what a preacher you'd have made. Go on, Missouri. Push yourself off. Sure, horrible dark out here. Can't see a thing. Well, that's what we want. Now, go on. Drop. All right. I'm a going. Now, it's my turn. So long, Brother Tom. I'll see you. In California. They go. They go. All right, Sheriff. I reckon I can set you loose now. Let me get at them knots. You let them escape, Tom. That's going to go bad for you. Done what I had to do. There. You're free. I reckon they're beyond catching, but if I hop out yeah, after them, Tom, you're not delaying me anymore. I don't aim to. But look at that window. I shine your light down at the ground. I shine my light down. Great Davy Crockett. Tom. I had to do it, Sheriff. There weren't no other way. I couldn't let him escape, but I... I couldn't let him kill my ma either. So that's it. The river's undercut right up to the foundations of the house. No ground at all outside the window. Just a straight drop a hundred feet to the rocks. have just heard The Mysterious Traveler with a title role played by Maurice Cartler. Others in the cast were Scott Tennyson, Frank Barron, Agnes Young, and Bill Smith. All characters in the story were fictitious and any resemblance to actual characters was purely coincidental. Original music played by Alfinelli. Grayson Enloe speaking. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System.